welcome to part two of Come Golf With Me of the last day, the final day, it's all to play for. All 10, 259 yards, par four. It looks like it's difficult to get through the green for me. I think Stan's just in there. Yeah, Stan's in that area there. Feet under the trees. Fuck it, under trees. So yeah, scores out at the minute, we don't know. And we, what we do know is that Darren's got two mulligans left. I have got two mulligans left. These two have got three. We've all still got as switches and as steals, which I'm sure will come into play on this back nine. And hopefully it'll make it a very interesting uh, back nine, especially in terms of the final standings. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Still rolling. It's, it's coming out, Darren. Come out, it's come out. It's, it's, it's on cap. It's on cap, Paul. Whoa. It's out. It should be all right if it is that ill. It's fine. It's the line, mate. <coughs> That is the line. That's, that's nice, mate, is that? I'm going to say, that's probably in... Uh, oof. If it had a carry on going straight, it'd have killed them geese. Darren's third shot, having just very cleverly chipped out of the trees. Look how lovely is that, Darren? Get up there. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Stand second shot into green. Got a bit of an unlucky bounce there, mate. Stu is second into green. A lovely effort, is that Stuart? Oh, okay, Stu. Well done. Okay, Stu. Right, guys, so we're on uh, hole 11. Par three, and it's 103 yards to the front, 115 to the middle. Start. It's that up for there's any water in it, don't I think it's dry, you say. Can't see it. It's up in the air, it's very high. It'd be nice if it gets there. Yeah, oh. great shot. Got a lovely shot. Oh. 
You don't want to switch that. No, I have man. Switch. Yay! You. <laughs> you steel. Steel, yeah, not steel. Oh, sorry, we, we ain't got the terminology right. <laughs> no, it's dead switch. Oh, it's all right then. Because <laughs> what I'm going to do is, Darren, switch. <laughs> Are you switching as well? Yeah, so no, I'm switching. So Darren oh, has to yeah. now hit the, hit the driver on the green. Oh. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm taking, I'm switching steel. You're switching me, but you're going to drive. He's stealing your ball, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, and I'm switching yeah, no, his yeah, club. Yeah. Right, so just to confirm what's going on here. That was Stan's shot, an amazing shot on a par three. Probably 12 foot away, so probably eight foot away, nine foot away. But Darren, there, has decided to, to steal that ball, which means Stan is now going to play Darren's ball, which is over here in the ditch. There. Now, to confuse matters even worse, I've used my switch, which means Darren's got to switch his putter for a driver. So we're currently going to find out if a stealth driver is any good as a putter. There you right. go. Stewie's at the back there. I'm down the front there and stands over there. Not a bad effort. to play this so you've got all the focus on you. Oh! <laughs> I'll give you that, Dad. You can have that for me, mate. Yeah, you can have it for me, yeah, even though it were put it in your hand. <laughs> so I didn't record I didn't record my drive then. Stan, I didn't even record your intro, mate. So we're on uh, all number 12, 250 yard par 4. I've just hit my tee shot and it's just gone to the left you can see the left of that bunker in Nate's craft. Oh, oh Stewie! Oh my God, Mulligan! You're going to need one, mate. Right, no, no, that's shouting fast, Stu. It's not a nice intrigue, mate. Good shot, Daddy. Shot, I'm glad you've lost that one as well. Uh, yeah, I've yeah, another mulligan. It's hit four trees, so I'll take a drop down there. Right, people, so Stan has got the green in one. So there's Darren on the left edge there for two. Me on there for two, Stu over there three, but stands on there for one. So he has a very, very good opportunity for a birdie. He's stood, standing right in my line with his footprint as well. And my foot's more important. <laughs> so given you're making up these rules then, does that mean nobody can do a switch on Darren again? Can make him switch his foot. No, but nobody can make Darren switch again. You, you would stand. Can't, can't. You and Stan can't make Darren switch again. No, can't, he can't get switched, so he can't get stolen. Mine was good. Everything was rubbish. Stan, it's still a makeable bird, you know.
Right guys, hole 13, really short part three. I've got 111, 113 yards, very short. That might be a mulligan. That, that that's might be a mulligan, that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be. I'm going to have a piss of this. Have you got one left, Dad? I've got two left. You've used two now, then, haven't you? Oh, Stanny. Stanny, Stanny, Stanny. I don't know if we can steal that one. Bunker. It looks like it's short a bunker that. Yeah, 315, par 4, all 14. <clears throat> Mine's just in front of his ear, and I'm assuming you can see other lads.
Oh jeez. I'm gonna have to steal some of this bar. Yeah, your mulligan's left. <laughs> no, no, we just steal. <laughs> steal it, can't steal it. I'm gonna have to steal uh, I can't even see it's up there. Tony's. <laughs> steal it. <laughs> Yeah, so I've just had my balls with the uh, stall. But I'm here now, and this is my fourth already on a par three because I had to play stews out of the ditch, which was beautiful. We're on hole number 16, um, it's par 4, 380 yards, looks like it's a significant dogleg right and I've had a switch done on me so I'm now teeing off with a pitching wedge and I believe it's stand to go first. Oh, definitely me. I'm sure it should be obviously green and everything comes there. Peachy. Oh. Nice balls. Nice. Wow. So just to clarify, Sue, this switch then, yeah? Yeah. It's only for one shot, innit? It is, mate. That's cool. Right, it's good again, kid. Alright. Don't get, get stolen again, eh? Hey? Right. 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 Pull again. Yeah! <laughs> Around the water and everything. This is a bit of a worry, isn't it? Mulligan? It's your last turn if you do. No. No Mulligan. No. Oh, hi. Mulligan? No Mulligan.
over. Safely over. Should have switched him to use a driver there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well up, mate. Lucky still. Right guys, so we're on all 17, it's 250 yards at middle, it says on mine, 230 to front. Which is even more surprising given how far it looks away. Oh, is it? Oh, you can see it's still smack in the middle of the fairway. Smack in the middle of the fairway. Oh. Turn it over. Bunker. Bunker. No, it's not cleared. Lovely shot. No, you've yeah, you're going round right, Bunker. Right. I ain't got steel. Yeah, what? Go on, do it now. Do what's other. Steel. Five total points on the end of the day. Gets it in, well played, mate. On to the 18th and the last hole of the series of Come Golf with me. Right, guys, so this is all 18. The last hole of the Come Golf with me series. It's been brilliant. Really have enjoyed it. Not so much today in terms of the way I played and the heat and this freaking t shirt I'm wearing. Um, but yeah, so we've got a very interesting par four, 400 and something yards. Pylon smack bang at middle at fairway, uh, which will be good. Uh, but the thing is, we don't know who's winning, we don't know who's losing, we don't know anything until we open these envelopes. So hopefully it'll be worth it in the end. Um, we can't even build up any tension, really. No, 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 no. Can. So all right, uh, Stab, Stan burned that last hole, so I believe it's on you. Yeah. We've got, are we going to have a mulligan count? Um, I've none. I've got, I've got one. one. I've got one. So you three have got one. I've got none. And who's got a steel or a switch left? I've got a switch. I've got a switch. I've got a note left. And I've been switched and stolen, so a note can be done to me. I've been stolen. Yeah. Pylon. Yeah, pylon's got to be a free drop, that's not part of the goal. No, if you hit the pylon, it's a free shot again. You know, like you did with that steak on the day, it's out of water. Can you lift the pile on that? You should be able to just pick <laughs> it, it out. out. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. That's good. At least I know. There'll be a local rule, won't there, Paddy? Give me hands to pull that on the pile on Yeah, 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 we'll all that. Yeah, it's a scale as well. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Space blue. Space blue. Go away with that. The pylon's loose to you, mate. <laughs> We're teeing off from bunkers. Mulligan. 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 That's a, that's a lot. Oh, just don't. Come out, come out, come out. That's it. Yeah, it's a safe oh, nice. shot. That's probably, yeah. I think that's a little bit of subconscious because you know it was there as well, Stu. You might have to do the same now, mate. Oh, yeah, you are? Yeah, yeah, Mulligan then. Yeah. I'll just do the same again now, now I'll watch. Clean right. That kind of shot. Alright, so the guys have agreed that I get a one club length drop. I'm 170 away, so I'm going to go with my four iron anyway. Lovely connection on it. Yeah, lovely that. I'll come in that. Come on, get up that hill. Oh, there we go. Well, that's Stewie. Tell me, Tristan. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Probably the best spot of the day. review the last day of come golf for me which was Stewie's day which was Willow Park I think yeah uh, so first of all the course I didn't mind the course too much tee box as well horrendous we like tee off out of a bunker and um, but didn't mind the rest of it too much so I'm gonna be generous and give that a six because um, I thought the greens were great and some of the fairways were pretty decent um, but yeah tee boxes were horrendous uh, format well, if you've seen the video you've seen the format very confusing but um, I won the day so uh, good for me but yeah just a bit confusing but I'm going to give that a 7 I'm going to give that a 7 decent format um, yeah mulligan's helped but yeah, yeah, seven definitely for that. Um, experience. I'm 
I'm going to be generous here as well, I think. I'm going to give this, I'm going to give it a 7, almost an 8, because I had a really good day, actually, I really enjoyed it. Um, like I say, not the greatest course in the world, but, you know, I was playing, I was playing decent golf, with three good mates, on an half decent course, not much to complain about, feeling decent for the first time in weeks, no Covid, um, so yeah, I had a pretty good experience, to be fair, um, would I go back? Possibly. Definitely if the tea box is improved. Um, but I think it just shows, you know, if you're feeling a bit better in yourself. I wasn't feeling too good on the first two courses, so unfortunately for Darren and Tony, I probably scored a little bit less than I should have done, really. So I apologise for that. Um, but I just won't feel it myself. Feeling much better now. Feeling much better on Stu's course, so hence feeling a little bit more generous. But yeah, that was, so those are my scores. Hi guys, so here's my scoring for Stewie's day at the Valley Park course, I believe it's called the Valley Park course. It's difficult how to rate it really because um, the tee boxes were horrendous and it was very much like teeing off from sand. The fairways had these strange irrigation lines that seemed to go all the way through them um, and looking back on the videos, the first hole I lost my ball and it was it was a brilliant shot you can even hear the lad say great shot Tony and the ball was just not there so that was annoying I thought the greens was alright um, and the facilities of the actual course itself was, was great you could tell that a lot of the money and the resources go into the championship course and, and rightly so I suppose but yeah from a, from a facilities point of view they've got a floodlit academy course the course that we played on and the championship course um, so I'm going to give the course that we played on a 5 uh, because I really did yeah it just won't good the format right okay well the format yeah it was confusing um, there was there was I can see what Stewie was doing it was if you look at it and you break it down and you dissect the format it, there was some really good things in there for the switch the steel things like that was, was brilliant um, in hindsight Stewie could have maybe thought about the rules a little bit clearer because there was times when it felt as though we were sort of making them up a little bit as we went along but yeah I thought the switch and the steel and the mulligans and everything else that we've, we've obviously seen the mulligans before but the switch and the steel thing was was brilliant um, but the whole guessing on the envelope thing it, it, it was it was a strange way of doing things and from an editor's point of view from the the guy that actually tries to put these series together and edit all the videos it'd have been nice to have a little bit of suspense building up to to the last holes but given the way that the format actually took shape um we was just guessing and yeah i mean i'm i'm gonna be generous for the switch and the steel side of it all i'm gonna mark that as a six um the overall experience it is always a great day out with them lads um I wasn't feeling it though as much that day and it probably comes across in the video I did seem really really miserable whether it was a mixture of my golf whether it was um, the heat the early Sunday morning the rush about that I had before I actually picked you up none of that's an excuse for it but it just wasn't a good experience for me um, but again the the laugh that we, we had with the lads and everything else looking back on that video I'm, I'm going to be, be kind and give it a 7. I don't think the experience with them good boys... I don't think the experience with them boys will ever be less than that, really. Um, from a creator's point of view, I want to thank the boys for being part of it. It's all well and good having these ideas, but unless you can actually put them into fruition and then see it come to, to, to life, um, it, it's a different thing completely. And the guys have helped no end do that. And there's been some really good moments some really really good moments um i want to thank stan especially because having covid and struggling along like he did and then still carried on playing and same with darren i know darren was was ill um on the day that we played i think stan's course he wasn't feeling very well either so again the extra effort from them lads made this uh, this even worthwhile and stewie in all fairness um i think he deserves a bit of a special mention himself because you can see from a lot of the shots, and Stewie will admit this as well, is from an handicap perspective, is, is I don't know how to say this in a nice way, but he's the worst golfer out of all four of us. Um, he knows that, he accepts that, and at times it could have been a little bit frustrating for him, but he never let it get to him, 
and he still carried on laughing, still carried on smiling, and still seemed to enjoy the whole thing. So yeah, from from me, um, I just want to say thank you to the boys, thank you to the courses as well for for accepting us, and uh, yeah, we need to start thinking about other ideas. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Hi all. So here's my um, scores for round four of Come Golf with Me, which was the Pine Valley course at Willow Valley Golf. Um, firstly, the course um, is a little bit short, um, but then you know we knew that it's a par sixty-six. Um, lovely idea, lovely little place. Uh, great, great little course to play. Um, bit backwards and forwards here and there and the on the on the 18th there's a there's a pylon which is a bit weird but um yeah i, I thoroughly enjoyable i think i think it probably would have been an eight under normal circumstances but the tees were just awful the greens were great the the fairways were great but but the tees were like bunkers it was just terrible um so i'm, I'm going to mark it down to a seven for that um the format I don't know what to say about the format, really. It was it was slightly insane. Um, it it was a stable for with different scores. I did quite like the idea of of minuses when when you get a really high score. That's that's quite interesting. I like I quite like that. Um, little little envelopes with numbers in that that it made up how crap we were. Um, the steel and the switch were quite fun. Um, very annoying if they got done to you, um, but but yeah, quite uh, really really interesting things to add in. I mean, we've had mulligans, we've had uh, played again. Now we've got steals and switches. I think uh, you put them all into one day, and you and you just lose your mind. But um, yeah, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was good fun. Um, just a bit complicated, really. At the end of it, I mean, we all gave our scores, and we still didn't really know who'd won until until. Uh, Stewie explained it to us, but uh, I'm, I'm going to give that a seven as well. It was it was just a bit convoluted. The experience, well, I mean, it was a good day out. I thoroughly enjoyed the day out. Um, it was I think the uh, the craziness of, of of the scoring system and and the terrible teasing that actually in, in, invoked a lot of banter that might you know that, that made it even more fun. So I'm I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mark it down on that. Um, I think I think the day. Overall, was probably just an eight again, same as usual. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, they're, they're my scores overall. I mean, finally, the whole thing's been great. Um, hopefully, people will enjoy it. I don't know where the scores come out. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm hoping I've won, but <laughs> who knows? Um, so I just look forward to the next one. Cheers, guys. Right guys, so we've finished the last ever episode of Come Golf With Me, it's Stewie's Day. So that's it boys, we've done all four now, so cheers, cheers lads. Cheers, cheers guys. Cheers, cheers. We're yet to know who's won because we still got these lovely envelopes to open and we're totaling up these shots and everything else, so I'll let the lads fill in while I do this. <laughs> I've gone for 50, I, I, I predicted that that's... I predicted that. to score 90. <laughs> predict if, you, if, you, if, you, if you scored 78, yeah, that's, oh, that, that's what you. So I, that's not my score, that's what I've gone round in shots with 78. Right. I predicted you'd go round in 76. <laughs>
Thank right, guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the entire series. I know there's been quite a lot of videos now. I think there's eight videos in total when this finally drops. Um, we do reckon that, obviously, the graphics will probably show you at home that uh, Darren is the winner, I believe. I think, I think, I think it is. I think it is. Congratulations, Darren. <laughs> well, not 100% <laughs> second or third or fourth, but it don't really matter at this point. So if Darren is the winner, congratulations, Darren. We all owe you, we all owe you 20 pounds a piece. Um, yeah, I think... It, it, I think consistently it's probably the right right person to be honest because we've all had sort of it and missed rounds mm. some of us have played well later stages some of us have played well in, in between um, but what I can say is that I've been with three cracking lads that I've enjoyed going to four courses now that I've, I've not played so if nothing else comes out of it for me with that I've played four decent golf courses that I've never played before uh, with three sets of lads that I've never done this with doing a series on the channel that I never thought I'd do so, I mean, for that, it's, it's a success. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. We're just going to now put our heads together and try and find something else to do. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, guys. Thank Cheers. you. Yeah, so here we are, Holland's Hall. <laughs> Same as you, Tom. Shit. 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 Same as you, Tom. Shit. Same as you, Tom. Shit. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, um, episode 2 of Come Golf With Me and uh, we are here at the beautiful Pike Hills Golf uh, just off the <laughs> right. Oh shit! I'm flame, Jack! Keep your eyes closed <laughs> Three hands out and fly. Darren does a 30 foot putt. We can get him to play it again. Tell him where we are. Alright, so we're going for the call for 25 foot. That's exactly what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Is that Corbin? And then we've got, like I say, that island green there. Oh. Yeah. There you go, look at that. It's absolutely stunning. The sun is just going down. Okay, welcome to the final day of Come Golf with me. And we're at Willow Valley. 